I appreciate the skeptic community to a point. I appreciate that we are reminded over and over again of things that we already made clear a long time ago. It's good to have reminders of those things. There's a point, though, when any sort of common mindset that people start to have with those who are skeptical start to create their own ideology. We really can't deny this. Um, this is why so many of the movements that start off really decent end up turning to shit. The idea of feminism, for instance, is, is a good one. But after a period of time, it, it, it shows itself as not being that great. Um, and so people, usually you have to move on from movements once that happens. Well, some people don't want to move on from them, and they do want to keep clinging to them. And no, no, we, we can't let uh, uh, other people define the, uh, this stuff. Well, it, it's too late. It's, it's already happened. So it's time to, to, to move on to another movement, one that hasn't gotten completely fucked up yet. But we need to realize when these movements become fucked up. That's pretty important. And some people just don't seem to be realizing when their, when their ideas have become ideological. And it's definitely happened in the anti-SJW community. It, it, to me, it happens more quickly with a community that defines itself on being against something. If there's nothing that you say that you stand for, you're just against these things, that's really not a position. Well, I just know I don't like these things. So, so what is your position? Well, I'm against these things. Okay, well, what are you for? And you practically have to pull teeth to get people to say what they're for. Some of the time, I'll say that. There, there are some people who, who try to be reasonable about it. I'm not going to claim otherwise. But uh, I guess Thunderfoot has caused quite a storm, saying he pretty much wants to step away from the skeptic community. And it's for the reasons why I've not really ever wanted to really fully become a part of it either. I've never called myself being part of the skeptic community. I thought it was interesting watching, for a period of time anyway, then it got old because it was the same subjects over and over again. And it eventually refined itself into an ideology. And the same thing happens with those who define themselves as skeptics. The, the same sort of thing. It, it would be like if I defined all of my music as, and everything, everything about the way that I create is, is, has to be different. Well, then I'd eventually start showing similarities in all my stuff in the way that I'm different. You know, you can't, you, you just, when you try to set yourself out to be something, when you make absolute claims that you have a particular mindset, you're eventually not going to be that. I know that sounds kind of messed up, but it just, you, you, you can try, you can tr go for some goals. And you should be going for, I mean, we should all try to improve ourselves in some way, and if not, that's kind of sad, but sometimes the goals that you set for yourself change. Sometimes you might realize a goal that you set for yourself isn't really what you want, or it didn't take you to where you thought you were going to go. And so I, I have some respect for Thunderfoot quite a bit in his... Uh, recent stepping away from the skeptic community. I mean, just like in the, uh, it, it, just like in the gay community, well, you're supposed to like certain things, you're supposed to have certain stances on certain things, but in this case, if you step anywhere away from that, well, you're an SJW! Oh, really? Um, I still don't exactly know how I feel about Brexit. I don't live there. I don't see directly what's going on there. I don't know exactly how the changes are. Cultural changes over the past several years. I could assume that they're the same as the changes that have happened here in the United States, but I could be totally wrong. So I don't want to make those kind of assumptions. 
I talk to people that live there, but that's all I can really go by. And that's not really enough for me to make a, a, a to to make any sort of definitive statements whatsoever about it. So I, I don't try is this getting slow? I just saw the frame rate like take a dive for a moment. Um we need to make sure we need to watch ourselves, we need to police ourselves so we don't become as ideological as those who we speak against. Just thinking about you know, people who define themselves as a skeptic. They'll call their channel the, the skeptic whatever. And you'll immediately start to be able to see holes in their, you know, things that show that they're not so skeptical. Oh, I'm the atheist something or other, or I'm the something or other atheist. Uh... <laughs> I'm the something or other anti-theist. I'm the anti-something or other. It, it, yeah, you've really limited yourself, and you've put yourself into a hole, and what do you do when your mindset changes? Or do you are you just not going to allow yourself to change? I don't know. Sorry. Um, when it comes to ideological thinking, though... I think Sargon has definitely went there. Thunderfoot seemed like he had gone there, but then he started kind of diverging from that. It probably did start around the Brexit thing. Um, but he's being he's now having to be skeptical of the anti-SJW community. Okay? And you know what? We should be. We should be skeptical of the anti-whatever communities, groups, uh, 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 mindsets, worldviews, you know, especially if you consider yourself a skeptic. If you consider yourself a skeptic, you better be uh, skeptical of all sides. Otherwise, your skepticism is just bullshit. And it's a bunch of virtue signaling. Just like some people who oh, I'm an egalitarian, and then never show anything that <laughs> proves that they're actually an egalitarian. So, 